Welcome to a tutorial on how to convert polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates or rectangular coordinates on the TA-89 graphing calculator. Using polar coordinates, each ordered pairs in the form of r comma theta. Notice for these two ordered pairs, theta would be radians. In these two ordered pairs, theta is in degrees. So we'll have to be in radian mode for these two ordered pairs and degree mode for these two ordered pairs. Looking at the bottom of the screen, notice how the calculator is in radian mode because it says RAD. It's also in exact mode. These are the modes we want to convert these first two ordered pairs to rectangular coordinates. To change the mode, we press the mode key. In the fourth row, we can change the angle from radian to degree. And then if we press F2 at the bottom, this is where we change the mode from exact automatic or approximate. So let's go back to the home screen. And now we're going to begin by entering the polar coordinates in square brackets as shown here. So second comma brings up the open square bracket. R is three comma. And now we need to enter this angle symbol before we enter seven six pi. So let's find this symbol in the catalog. So we'll press catalog. Let's go back up to the A's. Notice how there's an A above the equal sign, so we'll press equals, and then scroll up further to find the angle symbol. Notice here's the angle symbol, so we press enter. Now we enter 7, 6, pi. So 7 divided by 6, pi is second, then the exponent key. The closed square bracket is second divide. Now we want to select the rectangle command or rectangle function. We can this is located under the math menu or the catalog. Let's go to the catalog. We want to go down to the R's. Notice how there's R above the two, so we press two. The cursor goes down to the R's, and we're looking for the rectangle command or rectangle function, which is here. So we press enter and enter. And now we have the exact rectangular or Cartesian coordinates. X equals negative three square root three divided by two and y equals negative 3 halves. For the next point, theta is still in radians. So if we want to, we can just edit this previous entry. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll press the right arrow, scroll back over to the polar coordinates, press the delete key several times to clear these coordinates, and now we'll enter negative 4, comma. Again, we need to enter the angle symbol, the symbol here. So we'll press catalog, Go back up to A by pressing the equal sign. Scroll up further. And there's the angle symbol. Enter. And the angle is 3.6 radians. We know this is radians because there's no degree symbol. So 3.6 and enter. Notice how in exact mode, the exact coordinates are given using cosine and sine. To get the decimal approximation for these coordinates, we can press diamond enter. Let's go ahead and use the decimal approximations to four decimal places. So x is approximately 3.5870 and y is approximately 1.7701. Now for these next two points, we'll need to change the mode to degree mode. So we'll press mode, go down to angle, press the right arrow, degree is number two, so two, enter. Let's go through this process again. So we'll enter open square bracket by pressing second, comma, r is seven, comma, theta is 315 degrees. Again, we need the angle symbol. So catalog, the cursor is already on the angle symbol, so enter. 315, close square bracket, so second divide. Now we need to select the rectangle function, so catalog, two for R, scroll down to rectangle, which is here, enter, and enter. The exact Cartesian coordinates are seven square root two divided by two, comma, negative seven square root two divided by two. For our last example, Let's edit the previous entry, so we'll press the right arrow. Let's first change r, which is negative two, so delete, 
negative two. Right arrow to the right of the five. Let's clear 315 and enter 60 and enter. The exact rectangular coordinates are negative one comma negative square root three. I hope you found this helpful.